Hey guys, I'm Kelly with fitnessblender.com. We share a new free workout video every Monday morning, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Today I have a bodyweight only hit cardio workout for you. I've included both your warm up and your cool down, and I'll show both low impact and advanced modifications all the way through. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, for our cardio warm up, we're going to be doing 25 second intervals, no rest in between, so a nice quick transition. We're just getting our muscles and our lungs warmed up and ready to work hard. So we're gonna start off with just something really basic, just a boxer shuffle. So you don't even have to have your feet leave the ground if you don't want to. I will show, like I said, low impact modifications all the way through. So I want you to focus on pushing yourself, whatever that looks like for you. It's different for each of us, and it's even different for each of us on different days of the week. So be receptive to listening to your body and challenging yourself um, personally. Don't compare yourself to me or anyone else. Just do the best you can all the way through. All right, next up we're going to be doing a swing plus a step. So we're going to get our arms in here a little bit. So we're pulling up and then down, up and then down. So just kind of getting upper and lower body uh, warmed up and ready to work today. So you can pick up the pace as you go through all these intervals as your muscles get more warm. Feel free to turn on some music. I know that also that always makes hit less painful helps the time fly by. All right, next up we're gonna be doing three torso twists and a knee. So one, two, and three. One, two, and three. So try to keep your hips stationary so you're turning just through that torso and then get your knee up as high as you can. Start to warm up those legs and those hip flexors a little bit. All right, next up we're gonna have a standing pike. So we're gonna warm up the backs of the thighs and again the upper body. All right, so right here, just switching, alternating back and forth, kicking up as high as you can with a controlled motion, no real swinging. Keep your core nice and tight. All right, in about five seconds, we're gonna switch to warrior jacks. All right, so right here, going out. Lean into each side a little bit, come up overhead, and then just switch, switch sides. Keep your core nice and tight. Got 10 seconds, and we're going to switch to toe touch circles. There's three seconds. All right, so hips or feet about shoulder width apart. You're coming down on one side, nice and smooth, and then up on the other, and then reverse that motion. So you should feel this through your lower back. It should feel good, and you should feel it through the backs of your thighs. We're warming up our torso and our hamstrings. All right, next up we're gonna be doing butt kickers. All right, so just like it sounds, kicking yourself in the butt. So we're starting to pick up the cardio a little bit, and this time we're warming up the front of our thighs as well as our lungs. So if you want to, if you have neighbors below you, or if you're just getting started, um, this isn't really a beginner workout, but if you want to tackle the um, concept of hit, just cut out the jumps. All right, next up we're gonna be doing squat. So basic squat, we're gonna be doing plenty of these today. So you're starting this motion in your hips, you're sticking your butt out behind you, keep your, butt or your back nice and flat, and your posture good. So you don't wanna be rounding your shoulders or Letting your stomach hang out, try to keep everything nice and tight. Stand up nice and tall. All right, next up we're gonna do a long lunge on just one side of the body. So actually we're gonna go back and then forward. So try to, if you need to, you can gather your balance right here before you go into that other lunge. But once you're comfortable, try to use your balance to just go from one lunge to the other. Gonna switch sides, same thing on the opposite side. Keep it going. Next up we have a slow burpee. All right, so right here, doing the slow version of a burpee. 
So you're just walking into it one step at a time. Make sure you lead with a different leg each time. And then again, work on picking them up the paces, that interval passes. Next up we have up and over hops. So with the arms, you can do the low impact version like this, or you can start to hop a little bit in between each. So you're picking up the cardio. Pick your poison. All right, next up we've got up and out jacks. So right here, we're going up and then in front. If you want low impact, just go right here, here, and then in front. Just move as quickly as you can. I'm already huffing and puffing before the end of the warm up. You know we're in trouble for that hit workout. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Three seconds. All right, next up is a plyo side lunge. So we're going to the side and tap that foot. So side lunge and tap your foot. And again, you can pick up the pace as you go. 10 seconds left. You can always warm up longer if you feel like you need it. There's never any harm in a longer warm up. All right, so that is our cardio warm up. Keep your feet moving and we'll jump right into that HIIT workout. Today our HIIT workout is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, three times through for each exercise. And our first exercise is going to be a jump squat plus a front kick. So starting in about two seconds, here we go. So we're exploding upwards as hard as we can, then kick to the front. Jump squat and kick to the front. If you want a low impact version, just go up on your toes and then kick. Squat, up on your toes and kick. So do the hardest version you can for as long as you can. Try to push yourself, three seconds. All right, there's one of those down. So keep your feet moving during those breaks. Do at least a boxer shuffle, so make sure you're not holding still. Two, one, here we go. Jump squat and kick to the front. Try to land soft and smooth. Try to pull in your core and make sure that you're squeezing your glutes. Make sure you're not holding your breath. All right, there's two down. One more of those to go. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Try to push yourself. Go as long as you can before you take a break. It's halfway done with this interval already. Five seconds. All right, so now we're moving on to the next one. We're jumping, or sorry, dropping down to the ground. We're gonna be doing push-ups. So do the hardest version you can for as long as you can. Here we go. Try to keep a straight line through your body. Try to mind your belly, pull in your core. Keep everything nice and tight. Three seconds. Woo. Stretch out really quickly. We've got two more of those to go. You can always hold a plank if you want to while we're down here. Here we go. Make sure you're breathing in and out. Don't hold your breath. Five seconds left. All right, just one more of those to go. This workout is gonna fly right by. This is gonna be a good one, a time saver. Two, one, start it up. Try to control that motion. Try to not do any part of it too quickly. So you're not cheating through any range of motion. Oh man, when you throw push-ups into a hit is a killer. Okay, here we go. That almost took me out, I think, already. Okay, so next up we're doing a jumping lunge. So I'll show you a few different ways you can do this, make it easier or harder. Start it up. Here you go, it's your hardest version. 
So right here, going from one to the other, try to land soft. If you want the second easiest version, split it up in the middle. And if you want the easiest version, step back into a lunge. And you can even do this shallow if you need to. All right, one of those down, two more to go. Take a nice deep breath. Three, two, and one, here we go. One more of those to go. Shake out those legs. Two, one, here we go. Halfway done. Okay, next up we have a skip jump. So we're gonna do only on one side for each and then a shared one. All right, here we go. So powering up and then back. As you get comfortable, pick up the pace and to try to jump harder. Should be feeling it in this leg. Two. Oh, okay, remember which leg you were on. Oh my goodness. Five seconds left. Two, one, here we go. Get those arms in there. Try to jump up as high as you can. Keep going. Okay, so for this next one, we're gonna split it from side to side. So we're gonna be alternating back and forth. All right, here we go. So just up as high as you can from one side to the next. You should feel this, especially in your calves. Next up, we are doing X burpees. So we're gonna jump out into an X and up into an X. All right, here we go. Down, oops, sorry, up, X, out, and X. So your feet are going wide. If you want the low impact version, step out, out, and in, and up. 30 seconds left. All right, and one of those done. Just one more set until a water break. Here we go. Actually, it looks like I set my clock wrong, so. <laughs> so be interesting. Two sets of these. You locked out this time. Five more seconds, and you get a quick break. Just push. <sighs> okay, so go grab a really quick drink of water. Don't go too far, and we'll jump right back in. Congratulations if you made it back from the water break. Let's push through and get the second half of this done. We're starting off with a heel click drop and a step back. So this is kind of fun. So you're jumping up, click your heels together, touch the floor and step back. Up, heels together, touch the floor and back. So just keep going. Make sure you're switching opposite sides each time. Jump up as hard as you can, land as soft as you can, and then come out behind yourself for that lunge. All right, there's one down. Keep your feet moving. Five seconds left of that precious rest. Here we go. So click your heels down and back. Click, down, and back. 
click, down, and back. If you want the low impact version, just come here, down, and step a leg out behind you. Up and behind. Three seconds left. All right, just one more of those to go. Shake out your legs. Enjoy that quick rest. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Click, drop, and back. Click, drop, and back. So if it makes you feel a little uncoordinated, that just means you need it. So don't feel bad, just do your best. Five seconds left. All right, next up we're doing squat jacks. So these are much more simple and burn just as much. So three seconds. So we're gonna get nice and low and then squat in and out. Here. Moving your feet in and out. If you want low impact, just step from side to side. Just cut out those jumps. Otherwise, stay as low as you can for as long as you can. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right. One down. In through your nose. Pow through your mouth. Okay, here we go. Round two. Sink low, and then in and out with those feet. Try to keep your butt stuck out behind you. Try to make sure you're actually sinking low instead of just rounding, so make sure your butt is low. Five seconds. Ooh, okay, one more of those. Okay, here we go, last round. Try to finish strong on these. Go to your happy place. Keep going. 10 seconds left. Five, three, two, Ooh, okay. Next up we have high knees. No rest here. We're just gonna burn right through this. Three seconds. Here we go, start it up. So as high as you can get those knees, as fast as you can get them, try to land soft too. If you want that low impact modification, let's get the arms in there too. Make sure you're moving still as quick as you can. Five seconds left. Okay, one down. And if you have any water in your stomach like I do right now, you can hear it jostling around. Doing those high knees, two, one, here we go, round two. Keep going. 10 seconds left. Three, two, and one. All right, one more round of those to go. Three seconds. Okay, here we go. Nice and strong. Ten seconds left. If you, before you stop, at least go to that low impact modification and then just pick it up as soon as you can again. All right, we're done with those high knees. So next up, whew, we are doing a kick out plus a side kick. This is another fun one. So. Me dropping down as if you were doing a burpee. Come up and kick. Back and kick. If you want to make it low impact, just step out into that plank. Come up and kick. Five seconds. All right, one down, two to go. Make sure you're breathing. Three seconds. All right, here we go. Down and kick. Halfway. Ooh, okay, one more of those to go. Five seconds rest. Here we go. Down, nice and strong. Kick to the side. There's a halfway point. 
point. Keep pushing if you can. Five seconds. Okay, next up. We are doing a tall plank plus leg lifts. Catch your breath as much as you can. All right, right here, stay up nice and tall. Try to keep your hands right under your shoulders. I'm just lifting those legs, squeeze those glutes. Five seconds left. All right, rest really quickly. I can feel myself getting a little purple here. How about you guys? All right. Turning back and forth. Try to get a good squeeze. Try to pull in your core. Keep your arms flexed. And I'm sliding around in a pool of my own sweat at this point. I hope you guys are doing the same. Three seconds left of a break. All right, here we go. Up and start up those kicks. Five seconds left. All right, hop back up. So next up we are doing a squat floor tap plus an ankle tap. These are kind of fun. We're essentially gonna stay in a low squat the whole time. So down and tap, ankle tap, down and tap, ankle tap. So you're staying low, make sure your back is nice and flat. Keep your neck in alignment with the rest of your spine and squeeze those glutes. Try to put the majority of your weight in your heels. Oops, there we go. Oh, okay. That's a, that's a workout. This is a good workout, I think. Oh. All right, here we go. So you're touching the floor, touching an ankle. Like I said, make sure your back is flat. Oh, this is deceptively difficult. This particular one here. This one's a sleeper. Five seconds, three, two, one. All right, one more of those to go. Five seconds rest. Two and one, here we go. Down and tap, sorry. Tap, down, tap. Keep going, take a break if you need to. You can always come up, tap, tap, and come up if you need that break in between. Otherwise, stay as low as you can for as long as you can. Whew, okay, I'm not giving those legs any rest at all. We're gonna be doing a broad jump as far as we can forward and three squatted steps back. Here we go, so forward, one, two, and three. Make sure you lead with a different leg each time on those backward steps. And if you want a low impact version, just stay here. Just march in place in a nice low squat. All right, one down. Three seconds left. Oh, here we go. Forward, one, two, three. Forward, one, two, three. Make sure, like I said, that you're leading with a different leg back each time. Three, two. All right, one more of those. Breathe while you can. All right, here we go. Broad jump. One, two, three. Just a few minutes of hard work left. Try to push through. Whew. All right, next up we have two runner drops. Whew. All right. Here we go, so we're pulling one, two, down, one, and two, and then pick up the pace so you get into it. Five 
Five seconds left. All right, two more to go. Just a couple minutes of hard work. Hang in there. Here we go. One, two, and down. Five seconds. All right, one more. Two, one. Here we go. Trying to finish strong. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one. Okay, this is our last three sets right here. Ooh, we have a lateral jump, squat jump. All right, side to side, as hard as we can. One side and leap up. The other and leap. If you wanna make it low impact, stay low and then come here. Choose your difficulty level. Otherwise, jump as hard as you can each direction. Okay, one minute of work left. Two, one, here we go. Ten seconds left. One more round. Oh, keep those feet moving. Oh, here we go. Cross and up. Keep going. Ten seconds left. Five seconds. Two and one. Oh my goodness, okay. Again, it's a lot harder than it looks on paper. <laughs> These always surprise me. Okay, so we're gonna go directly into our cool down. So focus on taking nice deep breaths. <sighs> Swing your arms out a little bit. Start kind of doing that freestyle cool down, find out where you feel tight. <clears throat> All right, so. I'm gonna start off with the overhead reach. So, planting your feet, move overhead, enjoy those deep breaths. Lean from one side, then the other, and back down the middle. Stretch your fingers out all the way to the bottom. All right, now we're gonna enjoy a stretch here for a second. Move over to one foot, and the other. All right, let's do that one more time. So slowly roll up. Take a nice deep breath. Arms overhead. Lean to one side. Enjoy that torso stretch. Now lean to the other. All right, now stretch even your fingers on the way down. Nice and slow. And again, just kind of pick a foot. Lean over to one side, and then the other. All right, let's go ahead and do a warrior stretch. So lean forward with one leg, and leave the other leg behind, tilt your pelvis until you feel a nice stretch through your hip flexors, and then lean back through your core, see so a stretch through your midsection as well. So I'd be curious to see what you guys would rate that out of a five on the, diff the difficulty scale from one to five. I feel like that was maybe a four. I'm not sure though. So I'd love to hear your feedback. It's always interesting to see what you guys think. All right, so now we're gonna switch. Switch feet. Lean back into that stretch till you feel it. 
and then come up overhead. Whew. I'm a wee bit sweaty. All right, let's go ahead and stretch out the front of our thighs or quads. So if you need to hold on to something after this hit workout, I don't blame you for balance. Otherwise, we're going to be pulling our foot up to our butts. So we stretch the front of our thighs. All right, go ahead and switch sides. So right about now, when you start breathing somewhat normally again, and you're just kind of laying in a pool of your own sweat, <laughs> um, it feels pretty good, right? Once it's over, and I know I've said this before, but this is the feeling you have to remember when you are trying to get yourself to work out and you're having trouble. Just try to remind yourself of the way you feel once it's over. Just remind yourself how good that feels. All right, now stand up straight and on that same wall or anything that you can rest your hand against, Go ahead and press your hand flat against it and then rotate away so you get a good stretch through your chest. <clears throat> and we're going to need to drink lots of water after this. We just sweat out a lot of water. You're going to want to replenish that as soon as you can. Alright, switch sides. Walk out into a downward dog. You guys know that's my favorite. So <laughs> go for your toes first and then just slowly kind of incrementally walk out so you're slowly changing the dynamic of the stretch the whole time. And then once you get out there, try to press your heels to the ground and your head in between your shoulders. And go ahead and just walk a little bit back and forth between those two feet so you change the stretch, kind of alternating back and forth where you feel it. You should feel it through the backs of your thighs and your calves as you walk those heels out. All right, now I'm going to sneak one leg up here underneath my body and sit into that. So this way I'm stretching the uh, hip flexor and a lot more deep the way than we had before, as well as the thigh of this leg and your core if you're sitting up nice and tall. Mm. All right, when you feel ready, rotate back, and if you can, just kick that leg up and pull until as much as comfortable. All right. Come back up, kind of slowly roll around there for a second. Press back into a child's pose for just a second. And enjoy that upper body stretch and kind of lengthening through your back. All right, now round up and we'll place the other leg underneath our bodies. Get comfortable in that stretch. Take a nice uh, few deep breaths here. So this is a really fun workout. I mean, fun uh, and HIT is very effective, but you don't want to do it more than three times a week. So your body needs time to recover in between these workouts. It's just another one of those instances uh, where more is not necessarily better. So don't overdo it or else you could actually end up sabotaging your progress. So this time reach back to that opposite leg, pull it up as much as is comfortable. Let's do a deep glute stretch. It's always a really good one. It's one of my favorite ones after you work the lower body really well. 
which feels really good. So kind of rocking back and forth. So you're taking this leg and pulling it in. So you're kind of gently pressing that folded leg up so that you feel a stretch through the leg that's bent. Uh, just like it sounds, a deep glute stretch. So you should feel it in your bum. And just pull in gently, and then once you're there, you can kind of rock back and forth a little bit. Just change, changing the stretch even in the slightest way can make you uh, help you find what's most beneficial for your body specifically. So don't be afraid to explore that a little bit. All right, we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. Let's do a torso stretch. We're almost done with you here, I promise. But try to keep your shoulders pinned flat on the ground and then just rotate so you feel a good stretch through your core, through your sides. All right, switch sides. The same thing on the opposite side. Okay, one last stretch, and this one's easy. I'm not even gonna ask for very much. Just arms uh, stretched out overhead, and feet pointed, stretching in the opposite direction. So lean to one side, and then to the other, and then completely relax for just a second. All right, take a deep breath and do the same thing. Lean to one side, really exaggerate it like you're trying to pull yourself apart. Now go to the other side. And relax. Ah, uh, yes. So you know what this means. I'm just gonna lay here if that's okay with you guys. <laughs> so I would love to know what you thought of this workout. I'd also know what workouts you would like to see next. So never be afraid to speak up. We're always listening and we love your feedback. Otherwise, make sure to drink lots of water after this. Treat yourself to a good healthy meal as soon as you can when you're done here. Good job guys. This workout is complete.